<coughs> so an embedded sign there is advancement towards processors or, or controller and coming to language you are going to use assembly or uh, c language it will become your embedded system and what about vlsi vlsi system combination uh, which is a combination of uh, fpga device and the language is verilog or vhdl and coming to dsp system uh, this is a combination of a digital signal processor and a matlab language and what about automation system which is a combination of plc and ladder logics so this is the combination required for any engineer towards uh, a device advancements towards language uh, knowledge okay so you want to become good embedded engineer uh, you have to upgrade with this combination and you want to become vlsi engineer you have to upgrade with this device with respect to this device and with respect to this language and coming to dsp system you have to upgrade with matlab and you have to upgrade with the digital signal process knowledge and coming to automation side you need this plc and ladder closing combination okay so let's go and coming to this embedded domain which is very more popular toward towards r&d and as well as uh, manufacturing people why the people are more focusing on this embedded domain nowadays because everyone is required any system they want to make any application portable and they want to uh, use the systems with the uh, uh, low size and less power consumption and with the low cost okay once you come if you take one electronic system everyone will concentrate on the three important parameters one is cost and other one is size and other one is power consumption so coming to this different platforms in the electronics domains so which domain you can suggest to achieve these three parameters so why because even as a customer side as a manufacturer side so the the people will concentrate on this cost parameter this is the most important parameter for electronics and the one more important parameter size so like uh, how smart we are preparing your application that is also more important towards electronic systems and power consumption so which is working with how much less power which is consuming per day that is also most important even if you take any application they will uh, make the publish or they will make marketing based on these three parameter so some of the applications they will advertise with low cost some of the applications they will advertise with the smartness and some of the applications they will advertise with the based on power backup and all so that's what so these are the very important parameters in the electronics so if you if you observe these three parameters and coming to the devices in the uh, different domains so processors and controllers which are available to very low cost in the market and coming to fpga device so which is around uh, which available around like 15 to 20000 rupees only device cost and coming to dsp processor which is available with 3 to 5000 rupees and coming to plc uh, the minimum cost which is 10000 rupees so the programmable devices which are very highest cost compared to your embedded so which are available with very cheap in the market so obviously the people will uh, manufacturing people or cost, like uh, user people so they will most concentrate on the applications towards this area and what about languages for embedded domain you are going to use c language because everyone knows the c language which is which is very familiar from our lower classes because even nowadays the 10th class candidate also knows about c language so the syntax and of all these but coming to other area programming languages which are very difficult even uh, in the graduation level only the people will use this programming language the words they are listening in graduation level coming to this area languages so obviously the devices are cheapest cost from the market and language is very familiar for us so this combination they will prefer more even manufacturing people or uh, general user people okay so they will concentrate on this embedded domain because of these reasons only okay electronics is which is always running based on uh, uh, commercial commercial things and which is uh, which will work out for any electronic system uh, the people will concentrate on these three important parameters compulsory okay for achieve these three i will suggest embedded system is the best domain for preparing any application because in previous days the people will 
used for checking BP and sugar. They will carry the patient uh, from their home. They will carry the patient from home to auto or by car or they are using some vehicle to test BP and sugar. But nowadays, with the help of this embedded technology, they designed a simple like a cap size uh, measurement system. Once you pin that uh, system with your finger, it will show everything. Even you can check your BP, sugar, everything even minute to minute, hour to hour, you can check easily. So that much of comfortability, even medical side and general consumer electronics like printers, electronic gadgets, mobiles, notepads, tablets, which are all coming from embedded technology only. And if you go for defense side, you have major number of applications. And if you go for railways, you will have display boards and a tracking system, everything which are designed with embedded technology only. So because of uh, these familiar advantages, so because everyone know easily understand uh, the application with uh, embedded, so they can know controllers and they can easily know about language also. Because every engineer knows this C programming language in their academic also. That's what implement coming to implementation, which is very easy. Even our graduation level also, the people will provide hardware kits in this domain only. For coming to other areas, they will show only applications in simulation part. So I think you know simulation means they are showing only results in software part. They are not providing any hardware kits in other domains. Okay, the embedded domain which is easy to implement and as well as which is easy to work uh, any engineer. Okay, so even any you can suggest any branch from AAA or ECE or EIT which is the person related to know only electronics fundamentals. So once you know the electronic fundamentals, you can easily join with this embedded domain for your uh, future career point because embedded domain which has a vast market in the India and as well as because now uh, which has major opportunities towards other countries for production development okay in embedded side so that's what